May 18th, Mother's Day, a busy night at the Shively Animal Clinic on Dixie Highway. You see the shooter, who we aren't identifying because she isn't being criminally charged, walk in and wait in the lobby. She walks back to the exam rooms. When she comes back to the lobby, her spouse is seen holding her back as she's arguing with staff members. That's when 21-year-old Trent T.J. Taylor walks in. He also works at the clinic and joins the argument standing beside his mother. The argument heats up, and that's when Taylor tosses his medical gloves in a trash can and hits the woman in the head, then puts up his fists. As he heads outside, he hits her again. She pulls out a gun and shows him her weapon. The video shows Taylor shoving the woman with a traffic cone. The view through the door showing Taylor fighting with the woman's spouse. Staff members are seen outside trying to break up the fight when the woman fires her gun. Taylor died at the hospital. My son died over a dog. To the vet clinic. Over a woman who couldn't pay the bill for her dog. That's why my son is dead, over a dog. Taylor's family speaking out after the grand jury's decision not to indict the shooter. The jury deciding against homicide, manslaughter, or reckless homicide charges. Commonwealth's attorney Jarena Weathers releasing a statement saying, quote, the evidence in the case demonstrated that Trent Taylor was shot and killed after he was the initial aggressor, saying the shooter, quote, used deadly force in self-defense. The attorney for Taylor's family says they've been robbed of justice and places the blame on prosecutors. That's not even, there's not even a word for it. I mean, it cost me $19,000 to bury my son, you know, and now nobody's accountable for that. Taylor's family does plan to pursue a civil case against the shooter. They also tell us that they plan to hold a rally tomorrow morning at 6th and Jefferson Streets downtown. Family. All right, Lindsay, thank you so much.